माई सेल्फ आदित्य आर यू वेटिंग फॉर फ्यू मोर पीपल और so what i'm going to talk about is networks and human networks not computer networks the power of strong links weak links how we can utilize those things so i did a course quite some time back from upen on social networks and network crunching graph theory and how to relate graph theory in this field so what exactly are social networks and what are we going to talk about is so i will start with small world experiment what exactly it is and how 6 degrees have crunched into 4 degrees of separation and what does it, this exactly mean and again there was a study conducted by facebook so they had a huge database study was conducted over on 700 million people so that forms more than 10% of the world's population so i think we had a good sample space and again what exactly is kevin bacon game and connectors and bridges weak links and finally how do we utilize all the knowledge and put it into perspective and how do we make networks rather than you know just walking up to somebody hi i am so and so giving them your card going back home and suddenly everything is done you don't know what to do of that card and how to utilize that linkedin we make lots of connections i guess most of us would be having more than 300 to 500 connections but what do we do of that you have no idea it's like we make connections just to increase our connection count or in facebook we just increase our friend count but how many times do we really utilize that even though when we need it so that is what we are going to talk about at the end of this so let's start with milgram small world experiment what exactly was this so quite some time back there was a scientist stanley milgram what he did was so he is generally known for his all weird experiments weird in the sense he had this i think by standard by standard experiment by standard effect what exactly was it when you go on the road and some incident happens so do you really take action or you become the part of the group so he used to do lot of experiments like this one of them was small world experiment so in the year 1929 somebody is a big scientist i don't remember the name proposed the theory that entire world and everybody a random person is connected to another random person by maximum of 6 degrees that is why there are maximum 6 links so milgram told come on what do we do is we try to you know just check it what they did was they took two different cities or states in us which are geographically away socially different and they took around 250 people in the state of kansas nebraska omaha and sent them few letters in the letters they told them what experiment they are conducting so what they had to do is and they told the name of one person in the two people in one in boston and one in massachusetts that you have to send this letter to that person so what exactly was is you don't know the person who's the destination but what exactly was done is whom ever you think in your network might be closer to this person give this letter to him and tell him to do the same exercise and write your name on this letter so most of the letters was were lost in transit and maximum letters which reached the person average count was 6 people so this study was done inside us but it was again confirmed by more studies which were done in uk and some other countries that the world is indeed connected by 6 degrees so i know bill gates by 6 degrees or i know somebody who knows somebody whose friend of friend is bill gates so it's kind of very closer it comes so all these dots what we see here like different different colors so this orange color dots contains all the networks which are in orange color it's like these are his friends pink color all the pink color guys are his, are his friends but when you reach a to b so it was again the same illustration which shows how we are connected by 6 degrees and how do we take advantage of that and now in the age of internet do are we really connected by 6 degrees it's like uh, what's your name girish girish what do you do girish 
Okay, so JP Morgan Chase in Bangalore? Yes. Okay, so I know somebody from Daushay Bank in the investment thing and I guess like if I search for you on LinkedIn, we may not be away from three networks. Yes. Can we search right now? <laughs> How do I search for you on LinkedIn? What's your full name? Uh, you can search for Girish Space H. Girish, Girish Space H. Yes. Are you there anywhere in the search uh, results? Oh, so you are just a second connection. This one, right? Yes. Textron, General Electric, Hewlett Packard. Eight years of experience in web strategy. Yes. Yeah. So, that's what. Most of us know it, but how do we exercise it? So, Facebook also conducted a study in early 2011 or I must say late 2010. So they came up with few results. Uh, one of the results was your friends have more friends than you. On an average. Let's say if you have like, if I have let's say 50 friends. So on an average those 50 friends or we can say you know majority of those 50, let's say 30 friends would be having a friend list which is greater than mine. So how do I exercise that or how do I use that? Or use that friend list and average number of friends were 190. 10% of the people in entire Facebook profile had less than 10 friends. And 20% of the people had less than 25 friends. And more than 40% of the people had over 150 friends. So average degrees of separation was 4.74. So what does this mean is, between any two people, there were only 4 people or maximum 5 people connected in the internet age. And now I don't think, it's like you just follow Mark Zuckerberg and all degrees become one degree, suddenly. Or you just, with a follow feature I would rather say. Or you follow somebody who follows Mark Zuckerberg or who is a mutual friend. Maybe not mutual but after two degrees you will find somebody who is a mutual friend. And especially most of us I think believe work in IT. Is there anybody from non-IT background? In the IT industry or non-IT? Yeah, IT comes? comes within the six degrees. Okay, so yeah, my colleague is there, Alok, from non-IT. Only one, but... So, again after this we'll come to something interesting known as Kevin Bacon game. So Kevin Bacon, who was Kevin Bacon? Kevin Bacon was an actor in Hollywood who says or who generally believes that he has the most diverse experience in the Hollywood, Hollywood industry. He has worked with small serials, he has worked with big soaps, he has worked with Hollywood and he has worked outside Hollywood also. So what he says is, any actor in the world, you say will be having maximum 6 degrees of connection with him. Like anybody, let's say let me talk about Will Smith. So somebody would have acted in a movie with Kevin Bacon would have also acted in a movie with Will Smith. This way, so what we are going to do, I, I tried playing this game and I found it pretty interesting. So we can go to Kevin ba Oracle of Bacon.org and we can type any actor's name. And let's see how far he is. So Rajnikanth acted in, I think he's some old Rajnikanth, in Naya Zamana, with Benjamin, who acted in this with Shashi Kapoor in Side Streets, with Robert Sedgwick, Lover Boy, Kevin Bacon. Any other actor we want to try? What about? Any era? Because we can see from 1943 to 2005. 
Uh, what's the spelling? How do we spell it? S H E L K E R. I'm throwing the difficult part somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Let me try whether it works. Oh. Three. Only the number of three. Sometimes it becomes impossible to believe. Yeah. Because these guys, they were not there in, in internet age. Two. Only Pink Panther and the air I breathe. So, there are other people also who tried to harness this thing. And... In different different fields, so we have Becker number in acting, Morphe number in chess. So Vishnathan Anand holds a Morphe number of five. So the chess player Paul Murphy, he was there in 18th century. So somebody who has played with Paul Murphy would have also played with somebody who has played with Vishnathan Anand, and this how the links form. <coughs> so it's interesting to note some that Paul Murphy was there in 1885. He died somewhere around that period. And Vishnathan Anand, after 100 years, we have, still he holds a Becker number of 5. Or there are only 5 common players or 5 common games between these two people. Einstein number, again, is Einstein number and Erdos number, they are pretty famous in, with people who write GMAT and CAT. These kinds of questions comes a lot. So, people who have co-authored a uh, white paper or a normal research paper with Einstein would have also co-authored with somebody else. Unfortunately, Oracle of Bacon, so Kevin Bacon himself designed this game. But other people, we don't have any similar things to test it out. So, after this six degrees, let's come to something which is relevant, connect us and can you see the lines? No. I think we cannot do anything about it. Maybe... <coughs> Any questions till now? Anything you want to talk about or? Has anybody tried this app, My Facebook? So, this is a great app which like takes your profile, analyzes every data in your profile. And you will find the way you build connections and how many people are there who are close to you, how many people who are further to you with different interests. And this analyzes your entire profile. So I think we can find those links and lines from here. So this tells about what all words I use most in my comments, what all words I use most in my status, which of my status are most liked. So based on which we can, you know, in, increase our likelihood of getting liked by people or getting our status liked. 
because you know what kind of status are being liked it's like most of my posts are been shared by arindam manidas and raghu mohan so that way let's come to the most relevant part this says this part talks about my friend count so maximum friends i have from india then us then uk then australia then canada and i think these are the countries which are there somewhere somewhere around in sea other countries i don't know so like how diverse is my network this is what we are going to figure out or what we are trying to figure out here can we see the line Okay, so anyway, these clusters, what we see are like four different clusters of my friend or friends networks. So most of these friends, they are likely to be together always. These people are likely to be together. These are likely to be together, and these are likely to be together. Now, what these people know may not be the same thing what these people know. Like these are the people with different interests, and these are the people with maybe those are the people who have interest in movies. These are the people who have invested in banking sector. These are the IT. group and that is my college group and how i can leverage all those four parts is it based on a community or is it based on their interest because i mean uh, it's based on likeliness these people the first group these are the people who are close among themselves so they comment and post and inside that group okay these people comment and post inside that group and occasionally one or two people may know people from this group one or two people may know people from this group and like these are linked by only one or two or maybe five six but a very small number of people so, so on what basis are they club clusters they are club because they likely to hang hang out together let's say when you post a status that status is posted on the walls of one group these people and they tend to like comment on that so let's like anything it could be it could be anything so this out of facebook data so i am talking in facebook context and these are club maybe i may have a friend from there who knows one or two people and who likes and comments the statuses of these people so that's what make them bridge so they are generally categorized in four fields this is again similar things so again blue part is social insiders so which know and which are which hang around only the inside group again next part gray color is of social outsiders which are not in my group but occasionally i say hi bye or they occasionally you know out of my 100 status they would have liked two three and commented on two three pictures so what's of interest out here is these people are the people who with whom i don't share my interests these are the people who are likely to form diverse backgrounds so let's say if i need somebody from let's say law so i can contact these guys they are more likely to know somebody from that background than my inside circle because inside circle whatever knowledge is there we share among all of us so chances of getting a diverse knowledge or a diverse background or something diverse from here are very slim because we interact almost on a daily basis but these people we don't interact yeah so in fact all these six people 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 <laughs> so this is somebody i don't know at all on a personal level he was my college mate but we never spoke much mansi rk i once met in a social media workshop which all these people i didn't meet they are all my school mates blessy she is a psychologist again from a diverse which is not among all these groups padmanab i went once i went for an interview so this guy is a cop which again most of us don't have friends amongst cop so he, ronak he also i went during a athletics meet so which again is shushmita she runs and like she she is a part of an ngo See, so the rajnikanth thing is that uh, no 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 he is one of my friend one of my juniors <laughs> so the point is if i need someone somebody in the ngo network she is likely to connect if i know want to meet somebody in a his field of profession he is likely to connect 
if i need a connector or or any kind of help with police stuff he is likely to connect while these of the people they don't know any of these guys or they don't chances are that they would not be knowing anybody from so diverse background it's similar to your linkedin where level 1 connection level 2 connection no no these are not levels like they are entirely different so this is what we don't get in facebook but this when we analyze so chances are that when we need a job or when we need a favor from somebody these are the people who are more likely to help and who are more likely more likely to know somebody who can help rather than are in a circle so top social connectors these people they connect with a variety of people so these are the people who form the links so shraddha sharma she is the founder of your story and probably she is the biggest social connector so anybody if i want to know i'll just call her or i'll just tell her i i want to meet this person do you know somebody from this field or uh, rohan singh again he is also so these people are the one who comment on most of the pics most of the statuses social neighbors again are those people who are not my in immediate profile whom i don't interact but we keep hang around hanging around in the same circle social gateways again people with maximum number of friend lists so let's say akash das he is again a social media strategist panin sama is the founder of red bus rangveen rambir sangwan rambir he is from my school but i don't interact much so we don't have much idea akhilesh singh yadav he is a upcm guy he is my school senior so these are the people who have like big networks and again these kind of people who comment everybody they are these are they are the social guys who will comment on every picture or have a large friend circle they are likely to be commented and contacted which you can ask for help so that's about connectors and bridges now coming back to connectors one more story i would like to say so quite some time back in 18th century in usa what happened is so there's a person known as paul revere so i was just reading that about him in tipping point it's a great book by malcolm gladwell so paul revere was a silver smith so one day while he was sitting in his shop there was a small boy which came to him and told ki some people are about to attack our town so from morning he was hearing all these rumors but again he saw so there were people shipping and he saw soldiers marching marching so there was a lot of likelihood that people may attack like british britishers may attack this town so he along with one of one more of his friend joseph warren <coughs> told that we should inform the people of that town so both of them they just got on their horses and started moving towards that direction so that was around in the evening so entire night they rode in all the towns which were across or which were in the way they got down and knocked every person's door who whom they likely paul revere and joseph warren they took on in different directions and different routes so that the likelihood of meeting more people so what they did is they knocked on each door whom they thought might be connected this is what paul revere did joseph warren he knocked on literally every door he did not think of anything and just told that tomorrow morning britishers will be you know attacking so by tomorrow morning when britishers came they saw a huge army of people stopping them so this was more in the route which was traveled by paul revere rather than joseph warren so people analyzed why it was so with paul revere why not it was so with joseph warren so what paul revere did was he connected only like he knocked the doors of only few people let's say 100 in the entire night and what he did was the likelihood that this person might know 100 other people this person might know 100 other people rather than knocking everybody's doors <laughs> so he connected only the connectors in that area and the likelihood of british attacking them and they forming a defense was much higher so the thing how does it fit into the context and how does it relate is rather than you know pinging everybody from investment banking let's say i want to get a job in investment banking or i want to 
get a job in an IT circle. So rather than contacting everybody in the associate level or rather than I would prefer to contact a team lead or rather than contacting all team leads, I would prefer to contact a GM who in his in turn might know a lot of people or who might be an influencer in that area. So a GM generally holds, a mo holds more power. So while going for an informational interview, what are informational interviews? I just contact somebody, ask him for 10 minutes of his time and we meet up for a coffee, talk about general stuff and then probably I'll, I'll drop a line showing my interest in that field and can you connect me to someone. So rather than asking him to connect to an HR or some of his friends, I would ask him to connect to somebody who is a level up. So can you connect me to your team leader? Can you connect me to your GM? Would be a much better option because that person holds more influence. So this is how we fit in. Rather than you know him connecting, okay, I know another friend in this company who is also an associate because we were batchmates. So which is a better option? Like connecting to a person who is who holds a value of influence. So this also goes in marketing. That's why we use, I think, Shah Rukh Khan and all those people for advertisement rather than just anybody else. So now what exactly are weak ties, strong ties? So strong ties are nothing but people whom on, with whom we interact on a daily basis. So what we try to show using this picture is Strong ties may know the same thing what we know or like it's like the same piece of information which is shared by me is also shared by my, my strong ties. Again the same piece of information because the moment I come to know something I'll call up five of my friends and tell them dude I know this come on let's do this or I've come upon a strong or good opportunity and I tend to spread it in my local network but which is not the case with the weak ties. So this guy might be having a network in this area or this guy might be having a network in this area which is not directly connected to me or my interests but tomorrow I, if I need somebody in an NGO organization or somewhere this guy is an NGO and he knows the people in NGO or this guy is in some other in a law firm he knows the people in law firm so these people are like more likely to help me out one more thing which is not directly related to studying this and is my own inference is what I feel is your strong ties know you in a much better way. They know your good points, they know your bad points as well. So when I tell somebody, let's say when I tell you, please refer me in your company, so that time you are more likely to think of your position that is this guy good enough for the company? Or when I refer him, what if he's not good enough? My equity is at stake. While your weak ties don't know these things. So they are just likely to, you know, just send an email and connect you. So that is one more thing which I have inferred and I don't know to what extent it is true. So your strong ties are less likely to help you out when something, when their equity is at stake because they know you, they know your good points and they know your bad points and they'll focus more on your bad points because let's say if I don't perform to the level or you get me an interview and I just mess up the interview. The HR will come back to you and say, what kind of person have you referred or had you referred? A strong, a person who is a weak tie does not know me that well. We would have met only five, six times. Hi, hello, put up our, you know, best behaviors together. So, you know, this guy is a best behavior, like, this guy is a social media guy. And yeah, he treated me and all. Overall, like, he has seen my good part, so he knows the good part and he may likely to refer me. So, that is one thing which I have come across. Regarding your question, so we have studied enough theory now, so we are going to check out how are we going to do it no, or how I do it. I could debate on, sorry. Yeah, sure. Uh, debate weak tie could be more stronger in, in terms uh, relating to one of the corporate. So you have a referral buddy, right? Mm -hmm. Referral corporate. So 
Otherwise, you need to give an option. Like a strong tie can go back and look into your, okay, is he going to get triggered or not, X squared. Big tie is only a reference. You know, if he yeah. gets a job, I'm going to get my reference bonus. Mm -hmm. So that's, so for him, it needs more connection, right? So if it's IT or IT as an no, IT no, as. That, that's what I'm saying, because when, when you have a weak tie, there is a uh, carrot here that, okay, if he gets a set, I get, get the bonus. Then only I'm going to refer, but if there is no bonus, Someone sends me an email, and I have contacted the year back. Mm -hmm. You know, like, can you please refer me for a job? I'm like, yeah, let me think about it. Well, as you said, it's linked because uh, if it is no attractive, that, that's, oh, that's one of the reason. In you uh, have to have a carrot associated with it when, uh, for your weak ties to actually work out. Yeah. But the strong ties will work in in most of, most of the cases. Yeah, right. So, so yeah, that's what we are going to do. The other way, right? Most of the cases, what I do is. If, if you, you I, do, I just know you two, three times, you send me a resume, right? And like he said, you have behaved well with me. Mm -hmm. What I'll make a caveat there when I send to him, like, I'll also tell them that, you know, boss, I don't know him, mm -hmm. right? If he is good, take him. Don't take him. But I will do that. But when I, when I, when I see someone from my family sending it, before even sending, I'll have so many things to think about here. Oh shit, what, ha what happens if I get, if he, if he don't get, will he go and tell, talk bad about me in his, you know, in his group, all that, you know, a lot of filtering happens at this level. And in a strong time, you need to go back and give the feedback. That means you need to put an extra effort. No, what my, 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 uh, the point that I would discuss is not about uh, whether you are a strong tie or uh, going to refer you or not. I'm saying, uh, if, if we see the strong ties, it's pretty much the balance, it's pretty much the same thing. Like, how do we quantify it as a strong tie or a weak tie? It's only just. Referring someone? If you're recommending someone, you know, you might be a strong tie. Absolutely. Yeah. If it's just a referral, then it could be a weak tie. Yeah. Again, my first, what he mentioned was uh, definition of what do you say a strong tie. Definition of context, what kind of help do you need? Yeah. I believe. So, so that's what we are going to talk like. Enough story. How do we make use of weak ties? Strong ties, you know your friends, you're going to emotionally blackmail them. Prabhu, please don't go. <laughs> <laughs> I won't read your article tomorrow. <laughs> so, but so, we can't do it. It's not working for you. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> so, no, no, so, yeah, I, strong ties not working. That's why weak ties are needed. And I'm going to beat them up now. So, how do we do it? So what I generally do is... Uh, he heard my point, huh? I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Close it now, we'll talk in office. So, I got my first job through a weak tie. Not first job, exactly the current job. So what I did was, I was reading up a lot of your story. I saw an event where the founder was there. I also went there, spoke, and I told him I need a job in a startup. So she told, come down to office. I just went and told what I needed. That actually may not work every time. So for this, what we do is, we'll make a relationship action plan, what exactly is that. Let's say if I need a job in a law firm, what I'm going to do is export all my LinkedIn contacts, check how many people are there in the law firm, set up informational interviews, so that what are my goals and what are the names of people who can help? Reach out to people on and help them on FB, Twitter, LinkedIn, Quora, blogs. So this is first part, like, you know, being generous. Don't ask for a favor, give them a favor. It's like when I reach out to somebody, I check all these profiles. Blog if they have, I Google them up, if they have an about me link. If they have an about me link, I check them up, where did they study, which college did they go, do we have any mutual friends, and the kind of, the links in Facebook, the things which they like, the kind of status, like I do an entire research on the person before calling them up. Then we call, like if he if he's into athletics or let's say if he is into theater. I have no idea about theater, I'll read five, six good terms about theater, talk about them, like what is it, how does it mean to do impromptu or you know, talk about Shakespeare and all, read something about Shakespeare and then I go. It's like I do my own research, go and how can I help? That is one thing. One thing. Persistence. So most of the time people don't tend to reply. Now how do we get them to reply? So what I follow and most of the stories of persistence 
Rocky Balbo and all those things. Send a mail, follow up after two days, again follow up after three days. It's like be a jerk. So keep following up until they don't reply. Sometimes they don't reply even after five or six. That means it's time to take a back seat and try out your next content. And finally, never eat alone. So share your interests, go out and meet people. So point is, when we share cards with people, let's say business cards, we go to go home and keep them. So rather than that, we can go and you know just write them a mail. It was from the conversation what we had with that person. So one interesting line from the conversation. It was nice to know your passions, or it was nice to know that you are in theatre. Yeah. Okay. So five more minutes. So that's how we do. It's like write a follow up mail. Most of the times you won't hear back. But what is the advantage of writing a follow up mail? Mail is when they write write back to you. You need not write anything. Just you know. Mention the subject, met you at this event. So there's a follow-up of this event. It was really nice to talk about X, Y, Z, keeping in touch. And most of us think it's like kind of weird. But when we do it, it falls perfectly in place. So after two months, when, we, when you need a favor with that person, so rather than sending him a message, which he might have forgotten who are you, he won't, he may remember your face, he may not remember your name. You can continue on the same thread. So it brings out two points. First thing, out of all the people he met, you were the one who took an effort to write him a mail to follow up. So which already makes you stand out, makes you special and makes him want to help you. And since you have written already on the same thread, it reminds you of him, okay, he was the guy, he wrote to me and he'll remember your face, whoever is the person. So yeah, that's about it. So any question? When you are saying strong ties and weak ties, Again. okay, and, and, and you say you follow up with an email and then maybe for the next three months you keep quiet, you, keep, you do not follow up on anything till the time, mm -hmm. you need some favor from this person. Mm -hmm. um, I would have loved to see, like, how do I convert my weak ties into strong ties now? No, so that's the point. Sometimes you convert, like Raghu is extremely brilliant at converting weak ties into strong ties. And personally, I don't believe in converting my weak ties into strong ties. It's like, why? Well, yeah, I'll give you the reason. They say human mind has place for only 150 people, friendship. So the point is, the moment if I convert a weak tie into strong tie, somebody has to go out as well. So rather than converting a weak tie, we can, you know, have a friendship on a platonic basis, talk occasionally rather than, you know, talking daily. And talk about industry trends, but it's not that every night we have to go out for a beer or every weekend we have to go out. So rather than that, we can talk out on a... Occasional like and comment on his Facebook would keep you visible mm -hmm. rather than, you know, a like on every pic, which may make you like a creep, which in his mind also he may think, okay, this guy might need something. Okay. So that's what I, I personally don't believe in converting strong ties to weak ties. Make like weak to strong. So rather than weak to strong, keep them at an intermediate level. So that's what I believe in. Anything else? In LinkedIn, uh, your network, no? yeah. are, are those real people you know or they're just random uh, additions you, uh, you know? Uh, sometimes they're the people you know, sometimes they're the people you would like to know. Let's say somebody, uh, let's say somebody wrote a good article on Economic Times. What I would do is, uh, in my field, let's say. So what I would do is I would search a person on LinkedIn while sending the request. In the personal note, I would say, I just read your article and I found it brilliant, would love to connect with you and discuss. Okay. That's all. So, that was so he was a person whom I didn't knew, but I appreciated him. Fine. He also got a fan and he'll accept my request. So my question is, I have been getting, so I'm not very great on LinkedIn. Okay. I just go there to accept or decline the things which I get. Most of the time, I, I used to agree to all of, all of them. Then I realized that, you know, when people are asking me, hey, connect me to this guy. I really do not that, know that guy. Ha, so so that way, so that way I believe this is going and cleaning it up, which in LinkedIn is a painful job. Painful job, right? correct. So, so I was just asking how, so, yeah, I agree that. Uh, when they ask you to connect, you can simply say, do I know you on a personal level? So, because obviously your reputation is also at stake and LinkedIn is a more professional net network in comparison to Facebook or something. So if they are asking you to connect to somebody whom you know, 
So you can just say we can meet up for a chat or we can have a call so that I get to know you better and then. So in that case, it's on his terms how persisting is he and how would like how that person would like to take this up. So that's up to him. So okay, yeah, that's about it. Finally, to you can just Google me. You will find, click any of the results in first page. And apart from that, you can follow Anur at Race on Twitter. If you really want to. Thank you. Thanks for attending.